there are several different ways you can do this. Okay? There are a ton of different ways you can do this. You could go, okay, neither one of those is a perfect square. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply both top and bottom by the square root of 2 and get rid of it. Right? The other thing you could do is, oh, okay, well, they're both square roots. Well, the square root of 14 divided by the square root of 2 is going to be the square root of 7. Right? The other way, and the way that I actually really prefer, and it works out really well, sometimes, not always, but it works, is to go, okay, can 2 go into 14? Yeah. And what is what would that become? It would become the square root of 2 times the square root of 7 all over the square root of 2. Does everybody agree with that? Does everybody agree? And then guess what happens to my square root of 2? They cancel one another out. And then I get what? The square root of 7. Does that make sense? That's my actual preference, but it doesn't really matter. Okay? And B, I'm going to look at that and go, well, the square root of 100 is really what? 10. A whole number 10, right? Over the square root of 5. But I can't, I can't keep that. Right? So, why can't I keep it? Because it's, uh, it's a radical in the denominator. It's a radical in the denominator, so I'd have to multiply both top and bottom by square root of 5, right? Which would get me 10 square root of 5 over 5. Do we all agree? If I multiply it right here. Do we all agree with that? Which would then get me what? 10 divided by 5 is what? 2. So 2 square roots of 5. Or you could have said, okay, well, 100 is going to be what? Square root of 20 times the square root of 5. Everybody agree? Over the square root of 5. Do we all agree with that? My 5s would have canceled and left me with the square root of 20. That's a really bad square root symbol square root of 20, which is going to be 45, right? So that would be 2 square roots of 5. So really, whichever way you kind of prefer. Does it matter which way you do it? Not really, as long as you can simplify. You want to try the last one by yourself? Go ahead and try it. Just see what happens. We'll come back and work it together. But just see what happens. Anybody got a great way to start or a bad way to start? I'll take either. What do you got? So you just get rid of the fraction all together. So like you would do like 12 divided by 3 and then you would subtract out to points. Okay. And that would work as long as everything in the numerator is a square root and everything in the denominator is a square root. Yeah. Okay. And there's only one term there. That, that would work. So you're saying put it all back together. Right? You're saying put it all back together? Yeah. And then go, okay, 12 divided by 3 is 4. X to the third divided by X is going to be X squared. And it would still all be under the square root. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can live with that, but is that going to be my final answer? No. What's the square root of 4 going to give me? Two. And what's the square root of X squared going to give me? X. X. That's one way to do it. Anybody else do it that way? Okay. Anybody else have a different idea? 
Because I'm open to suggestions. What'd you do, ma'am? I made 12x twelve, twelve root of uh, 2x root of 3. 2 square root of x? 2x square root of 3. You make this 2 square root? 2x square root of 3x. 2x square root of 3x. All right, I'm with you because you just simplified it because you said, okay, it's going to be 3 and 4. 4 is going to become 2. 2 will go into here two times or one time with one left over, right? And then you kept that over the square root of 3x, right? And then you said, okay, that and that's going to simplify and it's going to get me 2x, okay? I like it. Anybody do one of those three different things? Do, do you do something different? All right, what'd you do? I just yeah, um, square root of four x squared times square root of three x. So you did the square root of four x squared times the square root of three x all over the square root of three x, yeah. and then you still cancel those out. So you kind of combine these two. Yeah. yeah. All right. And you still got two x. Right? Anybody work it another way that's not one of these three ways? Because I can think of one more way we could have worked it. Did anybody just jump straight to multiplying both top and bottom? By yeah. Nobody did that? Mm -hmm. Nobody did it like that? Okay. Well, I won't either then. That one is... Um, no, because this would become the square root of 36x to the fourth yeah. over 3x. Yeah. Yes, my dear. Yes, that's what we did here. Yeah, yep. All right, so can you handle that? One of those three ways. And how many of you got 2x as your final answer? Okay, I can live with that as long as we got it. Okay, I don't care how we, I don't care which of the methods we use, I can live with it. 